<laughs> hey and welcome, I'm Hammy. We're going to be playing a little bit of Hammond, or as he's known, Wrecking Ball, on the PTR. Quick shadow of abilities. Uh, you have minefields and ult, loads of mines around. This grappling claw, which you can do high-speed collisions with, and I've really not sorted out yet. Adaptive shield will let you have more shield the more enemies who are around you, which is awesome. And then, last but not least, you have your rolling ability as well. So I'm going to show you how this works. Roll in. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I did not get my swing in very well. Hammond does quite tasty damage, but remember he has only got 80 rounds in his cannon. He's not like a diva that fires infinitely. He can do nasty burst, but you need to be able to push yourself in here. So, and then your final uh, ability is one that will let you basically slam the ground, which is pretty key. But I've yet to use this right click ability to its fullest. Which is what I really want to work out because you can swing around with it basically. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I need my adaptive shields. On the point we go, roll around. Oh, the mobility is nuts. Absolutely hilarious. Ouch. Oh, you can just see, you just see Hammond fly out. <laughs> of course, this is a, a one a, a one suit, a one piece hero. Uh, it's not like a diva mech because diva's mech can really disengage and cause some problems. Look at Br Brigitte again. So um, you can go in and out of your roly-poly mode. Uh, he says almost rolling off the map. So you can run around with roll pile driver, slam into the ground below uh, to damage and launch enemies upwards. So if you can if you can do death from above, um, I love the deep voice. It's absolutely hilarious. Right. So I'm gonna roll in, roll in, roll in, roll hide, adaptive shields. So nice damage. Uh, that that could be a nice little slam. I've yet to get a good slam going. Oh, EMP. There we go. I can roll in and throw my mines now. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, look at the mines! Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> Hammond just says get wrecked. Oh, I love it so much. I want to... Now, see, here's just, I think, not a huge amount of armor. This is what we need to have a look at with Hammond's armor ratio. I've not even looked at his armor ratio. But you can see that he, he is... He is Best. Uh, he has a little armor. There you go. A 600. But he gets those adaptive shields. More shields the more people he's in the middle of. So he wants to be right in the middle of a big fight. Doing a lot of damage. And um, getting really nicely well shielded. Right. Weapons linked. Hammond just says, get wrecked. Uh, what I really want to do is try and, try and use this hook to see if I can actually fly up in the air. Or swing around and how that works. Oh, look at that. Look at those GGs. So that's a very quick look at Hammond. Uh, we'll play one more game with him because I really want to have a little bit more of a look and see how this, this kind of properly works. Some serious work by Brigitte there. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Hammond's Law while we wait. Now, Hammond's Law is up on the site. I've not even watched the Origin trailer. That's how fresh this is at the moment. But I wanted to try and show you a little idea of Hammond in 6v6, even if this is PTR quick play. Now, Hammond was, of course, on the moon, along with other test subjects. One of the smaller subjects he was genetically experimented on. He used to get out and run away all the time. The scientists apparently didn't know why, but he was training himself to become an engineer. He's a bit of a tinkerer. Uh, Winston decided to escape. Now, we got a bit more detail on Horizon Lunar Colony. Some of the, uh, of the uh, guerrillas decided to rebel, not all. Winston decided to escape. Hammond saw his chance, made his escape pod, but he didn't land at the same place. He landed in Junkertown. He fought to become the Wrecking Ball champion, but apparently his identity remained a mystery to those combatants of the scrapyard in Junkertown. Uh, he won, he got a lot of money, he upgraded his mech, and then he's now roaming the world searching for adventure. So Hammond is by no means a baddie. Um, he sounds as though he's an adventurer of the soldiers, uh, adventurers, scientists, and oddities, which is real awesome. So there we go, that's uh, our little friend Wrecking Ball, as he's known. Um, I love his like crazy deep voice as well. It's very, very funny. So I have to admit, I need to play with this grappling claw. Launch a grappling claw to rapidly swing around the area. I've been trying to swing upwards. Doesn't seem to be working. Enables high-speed collisions to damage and knock back anyway. So I think if you're rolling in and then swing, I have not tested yet the combination of the abilities. Can I roll and then swing? Increase maximum movement speed because then there's that synergy. You're going fast. You swing with your momentum in with your grappling claw and hit loads of enemies. I also want to get into the air. You saw that I didn't use pile driver once. Slam into the ground below to damage and launch energies upwards. So Hammond is a bruiser. He is designed so that you throw yourself right in the middle of things, launch your mines, you know, swing around with your wrecking balls. So there you go. I'm going faster here. I'm going to see if I can swing around a corner like this. Yeah, okay. I've got a little swing. I think mastering this Hammond swing 
uh, this wreck it. I keep calling him Hammond. He is Hammond. But a wrecking. Oh, there we go. Look, that's it. So there we go. Look, now I've, I'm holding this down, by the way. Look at that. There you go. Uh, he doesn't. He has a little jump. Can you see he's got a little jump? I wonder. I wonder what Hammond's emotes are, by the way. He sort of uh, relaxes a bit. Now, I love Hammond's deep voice. Now, remember, Hammond obviously can't speak, but he's got some kind of like speech synthesis thing. Oh my, look at this. Oh, and you have an effect. <gasps> okay, I understand now. I understand how this works now. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is gonna be great. Right, what's, what's the best place for me to attach to? Here? Oh, Hammond, no, bad Hammond. <laughs> no, that Hammond is a one piece hero. Um, adaptive shields, adaptive shields. Oh, the Widowmaker. So, yeah, Hammond's not like Diva. You don't separate out into this separate hero. Right, so I've got the hang of this uh, this little move more, this grappling claw. And of course, this might well just be an adaption, uh, adaption of his little uh, gadget that he came down from the moon. Because uh, we've seen that in Horizon Luna Colony in Hammond's room. Yeah, bring it. Bring it, Hammond. Ham is ready. Oh, look at this. There you go, I've got the momentum. But can you see, can you see that I'm getting that little bit of shield as well? Right. So I think that really using this grappling core in this swing, as well as being hilariously funny. Now you notice that there is that particle effect. Hammond has only got 80 rounds. The reload is pretty important. He does have a melee. It may sound silly. Oh, I'm pairing shields. There we go. <laughs> oh boy, six minutes of this is going to be hilarious fun. So Hammond, breezy, in the middle of things, shield, effective use of grappling claw and your momentum. I'm going to be interesting to see how much, uh, interested to see how much damage it actually does. And indeed, if I can... I now have my ultimate available, so we can have some fun with that as well. Oh, so many mines! You can destroy the proxy mines. Interesting. Okay. Hammond actually melts pretty fast without his uh, armor. Again, worth noticing. Oh, and then just goes. We've got a big bastion on the top there, causing some trouble. Interesting. So Hammond does have a bit of armor, but he, he gets chewed through, as you can see, without his adaptive shields quite fast. I just love Hammond's deep voice. Interesting. So you can get more. I mean, this is a bastion, obviously. But you do want to be right in the middle of people. So Hammond is a bruisy, disrupty tank. He has a great place in terms of getting into the middle of people. Maybe like nests of shields, you know, that kind of thing. There you go. <laughs> oh, we got wrecked there. Seems to be Volskaya. I'm guessing we're going to have lost this point. Hammy just rolling around and getting beaten up. <laughs> there you go. Wolf Squadron was our man this time. Hammond not affected by stuns in shield form. Interesting, interesting. We need to have a look at all of these interactions and see how they go as well. Oh, this bastion. There we go. Well done, Rodolo, for that effort. So, there we have it. What do you think of Hammond thus far? Do you think he's a little bit crazy? Do you think that he has some potential? I can certainly see the fun that he could have in terms of being a little bit of a 
disrupty kind of tank and sort of several other things. So very much looking forward to seeing uh, how he sort of develops. I'm going to go play him some more. I'm going to go have a look at his lore. Um, if you like this video, please do throw a like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think about Hammond gameplay so far. I can't wait to see a bit more of it. Uh, he's quite fun. Um, I think mastering that swing ability is going to be key. Let's see. Uh, more lore and Hammond's lore and more coming on this channel later. Cheers for tuning in. I've been Hamming as always. Love to hear your thoughts about him in the comments below. Take it easy.